Kuna Carter here with my video response for Little Shop of Horrors, 1986 version, for CTFX Cinema Club. I am an unabashed lover of movie musicals, and this film is no exception. You've got Rick Moranis, you've got Steve Martin, Ellen Green, and whoever plays that lovable old Venus Flytrap. The name escapes me right now, but it's all wonderful performances. You know, Rick Moranis is playing, once again, this, you know, stereotypical, stumbling, bumbling nerd, doing the great job that he did in Ghostbusters, the great job that he would go on to do in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. To be a complete foil to that, you've got Steve Steve Martin as this sadistic dentist character who probably has the best song of the whole picture. Son be a dentist. He's talking about how he was always torturing like animals and stuff when he was a little kid so his mom said he had to be a dentist to fulfill his desires. And it's really dark stuff that you wouldn't expect from your typical musical. And the way the story plays out between the two of them fighting over uh, Ellen Green's character Audrey you know, is just touching and tragic in so many ways. Once Audrey 2, the Venus flytrap starts to develop gets a taste for blood. That's when it hits the fan, if you know what I mean. You know, one day it's just, you know, little pinpricks on his finger, and you know, a few weeks later it's, FEED ME SEYMOUR! FEED ME! There's a scene with Steve Martin as the dentist and Bill Murray as his patient, where Bill Murray is a masochist, and it's completely improvised, and that scene alone is funnier than a lot of movies in general that are coming out these days. Because just to have those two great comedic minds playing off of each other and having you know them play such symbiotic roles, those two symbiotic characters like that, just the comedic potential is endless. If you saw the Broadway play first, you might be a little disheartened by the changes made to the ending, but that's Hollywood for you. What are you gonna do? I was glad they managed to keep Ellen Green on from the Broadway show. I know not every Broadway actor is meant for the screen. It's important to have those ties, at least somewhat, when you're when you're adapting something like this. You know, Sweeney Todd was great and all, but nobody would have complained if you had Angela Lansbury playing Mrs. Lovin. There's a great uh, framing device in this film. They have these three like Motown singers as kind of a Greek chorus to take you through the picture as the omniscient narrator type, which is not something you see a lot in mainstream film. Points to them for taking that step. Fade to black. 